Today we're going to do a great film that I picked up yesterday. It's called How to Sell or Rent Your Property Yourself for Maximum Profit. No, 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 no! 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 Stop it! Uh, it's not good! No! 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 Such a bad thing you're doing! Look what you made me do! No! 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 <sighs> oh god, sorry about that. <sighs> so continuity is a weird thing, I guess. Welcome to the first thing of hopefully many things I'm me I haven't really given myself a name this is I guess slacking off where we slack off and watch some wholesome VHS tapes so today we're gonna be reviewing a, a classic family film called frog or as what we'll be referring to it now frog 1987 uh, and this is no different than any other frog movie you've ever seen, where the frog is the prince and he needs to be kissed to no longer be a frog. The great thing about this VHS is that it is approved by Feature Films for Families. So this movie was approved by a company or an association called Feature Films for Families, which is uh, just, a, just a bevy of alliteration. But for this movie in particular, We've got a parent's guide, which I think is amazing. Uh, and there's uh, a parent's guide for family discussion. So the idea here is after you've watched the movie with your children, or just lock them in the cellar and, and press play and get the fuck out, because you don't want to watch this movie, um, is you ask them a few questions and you see if they're, uh, I guess, worthy of keeping. So we'll look at those at the end of this here, probably way too long video. Is that a fucking kimono dragon? This movie, all right, we get it. This movie is about this kid who collects way too many reptiles and has got some weird shit going on. But uh, the, one of the rarest, deadliest reptiles on planet Earth is like the third reptile we see in this movie. Okay, all right. I see, I see the game you're playing here, fucking frog 1987. So before we go any further, you're gonna notice a lot of faces that you've probably seen in other places. There's a lot of like currently big name TV actors. Like our main character here, Arlo, he does like a lot of work with Law & Order. Um, he looks like someone that was probably on Entourage, but I've never seen Entourage, so we're gonna just assume he was on Entourage. Uh, but most importantly, we have Shelley Duvall, who you may know from The Shining. <laughs> as Jack Nicholson's uh, opposite the wife, the, uh, in, in some cases, the, the protagonist of, of sorts, or the antagonist, I guess, I don't know. Well, who cares, it's, it's an old book movie. Yeah, just shake the animal to death, they don't mind. Mom, matchsticks won't stop you from crying. It has no basis in science. Well, it works for me. I read it in the book. Nobody reaches into a cabinet like that. Hey, Mom, can you grab me a steak knife from the knife bucket? Sure thing, son. Let me just reach in here and... Oh, oh, there's, there's knives in this bucket. Oh, no! If I knew we were going to be messing with your reptiles again... Snakes, lizards, frogs. It isn't the same anymore, Arlo. Remember when we had 20 guys down here? They couldn't believe all our snakes. We were in the fourth grade, Arlo. So? Kids still think it's cool. Well, maybe the chess club does, but the rest of the school thinks you're a Rubus. Oh, Jimmy, hitting Arlo where the sun don't shine, calling that motherfucker a Rubus. That's a sick burn. <laughs> Woo! Sick burn! Yeah! Fucking 
cool. <laughs> So, it turns out that Arlo and Jimmy used to be really good friends, but ultimately Jimmy grew up to learn how to love sports and crush and puss while Arlo is still stuck in the garage with his reptiles. Arlo, any girl who talks to a guy who talks to snakes ain't worth talking to. You never even kissed a girl. I have two. Name one. Uh, Arlene. Your sister? Incest alert. Hardcore, code red, incest. Do not go any further. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Arlo, that's fucking disgusting. Don't kiss your sister. Just don't. Don't do it. Just stop. Just stop talking. Look at all these. Hey, Jimbo. Long time no see, buddy. But you and Arlo get into a fight or something? No. Busy. So at this point, Arlo's dad stops by to drop some toxic masculinity on the situation and let everybody know that he wishes Jimmy was his son instead. Yeah, well, you stick with your athletics, Jimbo. When I was your age, you know what they used to call me? What? Lightning Legs Anderson. Yeah, you play football, don't you, Jimbo? Well, when I was a first string running back, we didn't wear no pads then either, you understand? It was man against man, okay? And when you got hit, whoa. We didn't wear no pads, it was man on man. And we sure as hell didn't wear no rubbers on our penises back then, either. How do I look, guys? Too much or not enough? <laughs> I don't know what it is about that moment, but I kind of love it. It's kind of perfect. As if we couldn't make this any more clear, Arlo's dad loves sports. Football, forget about it, he loves it. Bowling, just don't even, why would you even bring that up? Of course he loves bowling. Fucking the guy who read Great Gatsby 100,000 times just to hear Gatsby call Nick old sport all day. So it's at this point that Arlo finally gets his hands on one of them sweet dates and his dad gives him like 20 bucks so of course, naturally, he takes a quick detour at his favorite 24-hour pet shop because nothing says sketchier than a man that sells live animals at 3 o'clock in the morning. Arlo, you don't need a frog. You've got a date. So, as we can all expect, Arlo wastes all of his dad's money on a frog instead of on that date. The worst part about this scene though is that that is the most normal looking frog I've ever seen. I mean, Arlo's got fucking Godzilla in his basement or garage or whatever, but hold the phone. Look at that fucking frog over here. You see that thing? Oh my God. That's the sexiest frog I've ever seen before. <laughs> Clear my schedule. I, sorry, Jenny. I gotta go have a date with a frog. Arlo, Susie, Susie, Arlo. Susie, did you know some frogs use their eyes to push down their food? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, the onions. The onions! That was brilliant, Arlo. Great deflection, 10 out of 10. Whenever I need to cover something up, the first thing that I always say is... The onions. Uh, my shoe. No, you idiot, just say the onions again. We already know the onions works. Now you're messing with the formula. Look, Arlo, I gave you a chance. You have this weird attraction to reptiles. Finally, we're getting to the real problem here. Arlo fucks his pets. Jimmy is saying what we're all thinking. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's some more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some more. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, and you'll sing a bee. Hey, you've come back! Hey, this has been a summer night, no? 
So I forgot to mention that this frog is technically like an Italian frog, but right off the bat, that is not an Italian accent. That's, that's the worst Italian accent I've ever heard in my life. Try again. Please, please, for the love of God, tell me we're not stuck with that accent for like, like, uh, this movie's like 50 minutes, so it's really not that bad. Arlo? Are you okay? Uh, uh sure, Mom. I was just reading. Oh. And now, Arlo will attempt to prove to his mother that he can read. Timber rattlesnakes are live bears, giving birth in early fall to a litter of nine youngsters. And he sticks the landing! Oh, you're a grand old Are you a dream? A dream? You know, see, I'm a frog. A frog? Well, not really a frog. You're not really a frog. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. I'm a frog. Bill, we have to remember we have a son who gets straight A's, whose teachers all like him, and who comes home right after school. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, when I was his age, I was having unprotected sex and stabbing old ladies in the street. Sure, I can see their faces whenever I close my eyes, but a Bill character, damn it. How was I to know we were dissecting frogs today? Are you okay? <laughs> okay, fine. You get two legitimate laughs out of me, movie, but that is it. No more. No less. That two. You, everybody gets two. You know, Gus? We got a chance to make a great contribution to science. So, with the science fair coming up soon, Arlo decides that Gus would be very useful in a science project. But all Gus wants is a little kiss on the leaps. You go on date, no? A date? Why would a wonderful, beautiful girl like Susie want to go out with me? Why not? Let me see. Because I'm skinny, homely, nerdy, clumsy, and in short, a real Rubus. God damn it, movie! You keep bringing up this Rubus word like you think we all know what you're talking about, but nobody knows what you're talking about! So Arlo and Gus make this agreement that Gus will help Arlo get a date if Arlo will force that date to then kiss Gus. N nothing wrong with that one. I don't see... I don't see anything wrong with that at this fucking point. Spit it out, Arlo. A confidence. Would you like to be my science fair? I mean, I'm a frog. Oh, sure, Arlo. I mean, uh, I love them too. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know what to do without them. Uh, they're very interesting, uh, and I think. Ha ha ha! Yeah, turn! Holy shit! Fucking kill it! Crush that abomination! Would it be any extra if you kissed me with your eyes closed? No, for you, handsome. No extra charge. All right, batter up. Okay, I can't tell you the number of times that I have seen these kissing booths in movies, and I have never seen one in real life. I mean, is that really a thing that people do? I just couldn't imagine spending money to just wait in line and, and, and kiss some woman that a bunch of other men are kissing. It's just, is that real? Is that a real thing? I just, I can't, I can't wrap my head around that one. That makes less sense than the, the, the talking frog that we've been watching for the last 20 minutes. Arlo, what he's trying to say is, well, we went to parties, to football games, to civil rights demonstrations. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you are right. Fuck civil rights demonstrations. Arlo, you see, people are warm-blooded creatures, okay? And toads are cold-blooded. And, and when you mix warm and cold, you get uh, lukewarm-blooded. So what we're trying to say, son, is you need to stop injecting yourself with reptile blood. It will not give you superpowers. You did a nice job with the lava. Don't you just love lava? No. No, 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 no. Nobody loves lava. I just... Why does everyone in this movie have such weird passions? I don't... Ugh. Well, Arlo, let's see how this works. As our project will demonstrate, frogs have an extremely complex system of communication. 
when the bull, or dominant amphibian, subject A here, lets out a middle white rod alone. This montage is taking longer than Arlo's presentation would have even been. I, I don't know. I'm a frog. You aren't serious about this, are you, young man? Well, yes, sir. Oh, this is nothing more than a trained animal act. How'd you do it? Electric shocks? Electric shocks? You certainly chose an ugly representative of the species. No teacher would act that way at a science fair. I mean, I've spent the last 33 minutes making fun of this kid, and I can't even help but feel sorry for him at this point. In all my years of judging science fairs, I have never seen anyone falsify their data. There is just... <laughs> no way that that is true. All kids bullshit their science fair projects. That's just how it works. Can you believe this? The only reason you worked with that nerd was to pass science. Now he's ruining the whole thing because of some stupid frog? I'm only here to deliver exposition. Oh, shit! That frog was totally crushed to death by that trophy! That's not cool, movie! That's why he started to sing that Amore. You see, it's like, it's like a call for a frog's dinner. Or is it a mating call? Anyway, frogs love that song. And so begins the worst scene in movie history where Arlo and Susie stand in a swamp and start kissing frogs. And then they just chuck them back into the swamp. This movie has no respect for the lives of reptiles. Okay, why is Arlo kissing frogs too? We already established that it has to be a beautiful woman to kiss the frog. And Arlo is clearly not that. Help! Oh, oh, I turned back into a human, but I forgot how to swim. You've just taken us to jail. You'll never believe what these two delinquents have been up to tonight. These are no delinquents. This is my son, a scientist. <laughs> well, that's all the evidence we need. No scientist has ever done anything wrong. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. God, that is not a prince. That is a very much so a frogman. Let's get rid of that guy altogether. We'll edit that fucker in post. That's disgusting. The moon, it's your ride like a big pizza pie. That's so more. So, that's the end of Frog. Um, it's not really a terrible movie, especially as far as children's movies are concerned, but. It's, uh, it's pretty garbage. It's pretty, pretty flaming pile of trash. So here's the questions that are on the back of the box, which are for discussion after the movie. Uh, Each one of us is unique, said Arlo's mom, with our own very person out. Oh, I can't read. So that's, that's all the fucking questions that we have for today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, rate us on Grubhub, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, match with me on Tinder. Um, that's it. All the other things. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless America. And one last thing. If you are watching this uh, on any of the extra YouTube channels I'm putting this on, um, such as my original YouTube channel, Brian Slack, or the old uh, Let's Play channel I did, uh, I'm going to be uploading these pretty regularly on a new channel. The link will be in the description and on the screen and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so please, if you enjoyed this, in all seriousness, please go to that channel, uh, spread some love, and also let me know uh, if you have any suggestions uh, uh, or, you know, if, if there's anything you want to see more of or less of or whatever. Um, I'm pretty open to changing this however we see fit. Um, yeah, that's really it, guys. Thanks a lot.